know, uh, it's become mainstream to talk about Harvey Milk, and it's more part of, you know, accepted reality to say we, we appreciate Harvey Milk. But I think oftentimes people forget what Harvey Milk was really about. And there is a spirit of nonconformity of going against the grain, of trying to challenge the system. Because we as queer people, as LGBT people, we do want to be a part of the system, but it's not enough to simply be a part of the system, be accepted by the system. We want to change the system so that the system is just and fair for everyone. And that spirit of Harvey Milk, of making the system a better system, is something that's alive and well, in, in, not only in California, throughout the country. We have movements that are building on that spirit. We have here in San Francisco the Occupy SF, the Occupy Wall Street movement that is trying to make Wall Street and the entire financial system accountable to the 99%. It is in that spirit that we as queer people need to be supportive of those movements, of those efforts that are trying to make society, as Stephanie said, the world be a better place. That's what Harvey Milk was about. It's not about simply being okay with, with us as, as an LGBT community doing well, but also recognizing that we're all connected to other people that the fight for justice includes all of us, and that when one group is discriminated against, when one group is oppressed, we as gay people, we as queer people are oppressed. That's what I think of when I think of Harvey Milk, the spirit of nonconformity so that we truly make this system what it should be. Thank you for being here.